A common question I get as a home organizer is, how do I create a stylish, organized space with a smaller budget? With inflation these days, it's getting more and more difficult to find materials to style and organize your home without breaking the bank. So I decided to go check out IKEA. I was curious to see if I might be able to pull together some stylish home organizing products for a fraction of the price. I'm Sylvie and I own a home organizing company in Winnipeg, Manitoba. If you're passionate about curating your house into a dream home with makeovers Amazon home finds and DIY projects, then you'll want to be sure you hit the subscribe button below. So some of the products I'll be showcasing today are items you've likely seen before. They're classic to Ikea, but I hope to breathe a bit of life into them by helping you consider new ways to incorporate them in your home. I'll also show you some of Ikea's latest home organizing products that I think would make your home look radiant. And if you stay through to the end, I'll share what I'd pair together if I was shopping for a new pantry. You'll be shocked with the dollar savings. Whether you're a seasoned Ikea shopper or new to the brand, there's there's something here for everyone. First, I'm starting in the basket section. I was going to say aisle, but Ikea doesn't really have aisles, just large areas. Ikea's baskets are more reasonably priced compared to Wayfair, The Container Store, CB2, Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, West Elm. I'm constantly shopping for baskets and I've been shocked with the prices. Most are upwards of $40 to a whopping $300 each, which can hurt your pocketbook if you have a dozen to buy. In the past, IKEA had limited basket selections to pull from besides fabric ones and a few rattan ones, and most of what they had were cube in shape, made to fit IKEA's Kallax shelving unit. But those aren't practical in every application, so I was glad to find IKEA with new shapes and options that could be used for storage on shelves and closets or pantries for a fraction of the price that I've been buying. So we're starting with the baskets I think are the most versatile. While I think most of these were created to fit Ikea's Billy bookcase or best of storage, these would all work well in a pantry or in a mudroom, in a living room, or on the top shelf of your closet. My first find is the Tating Basket at $17.99. Handwoven with banana leaves, it adds a decorative touch where it's used. Then there's the Ascendant Basket at $29.99. A bit on the expensive side, this one's hand braided from Seagrass and it's a bit larger than the Tating Basket, making it more versatile to fit larger items. I don't love this one on its own, but I think in the right space, it would be spectacular. And now for the most exciting part are the new basket releases. I'm starting with the Joel Canna Basket priced at $24.99. It's hand woven with bamboo, and they say that the material develops its own unique color character over time. Another new one is the Vaxtus line. I particularly like this one priced at $24.99. It's also handmade and hand woven. It would also work really well on a pantry shelf, in a mudroom, in a linen cabinet, or on a closet shelf. Also part of the Vaxtus line is this square one. Hand braided with poplar, they say that this material also develops its own unique color over time. And I'm obsessed with this find. This is the Optoterra storage box and it's priced at $19.99. It comes in two sizes, but I think the larger size is a bit more practical. I love the finish of this box. It's well made compared to the home edit wood boxes. If you have a light finish in your pantry or closet, I think this box would be stunning. I wasn't going to talk about this one, but I kept eyeing it up each time I walked by. It's the Hurig Basket. It's priced at $49.99. It's made of black bamboo, rattan, and leather. And I think it works great for storing throw pillows and those cozy blankets you curl up in to watch Netflix in your living room or family room. And I know Ikea's had these for a really long time. It's the Nagleg Pine Crate. It comes in two sizes priced at $12.99 and $24.99. It's really durable and can handle heavy loads. I think it could look beautiful alongside the right decor like in an authentic farmhouse, a canning pantry, or a European home in the French countryside. I know, I'm dreaming. I realize you likely don't live there, but it comes unfinished. So you can either treat it with oil, wax, or paint it your favorite color to fit the style of your pantry. Ikea says it works with their Ivor storage unit, but I think it would work great storing cans and glass bottles in a pantry. 
Now onto the cube baskets dimensioned to fit in IKEA's Kallax shelving unit. While these cube baskets are a bit large for most regular shelves, many households have a Kallax shelving unit. These units come in multiple configurations and colors and are priced from $69 to $329. They're practical for dividing a room or for storage in an office, living room, or playroom. So I think it's great that IKEA's designed a cube basket to fit inside this shelf, but you don't have to own the shelving unit to use these cube baskets. These baskets also work great on the lower shelves of your closet to store accessories like belts and hats, or on the floor of your pantry to store items like soda, large chip bags, and backstock bags of rice or flour. There's a multitude of ways to use these. Here are my favorite cube ones. First, there's the Branas basket at $24.99. It comes in two colors, natural rattan or dark gray. It has a super sturdy frame and it's hand woven in a rattan material. The dark gray one is their best seller. Next is the Lab Cell Basket at $24.99. It's handmade water hyacinth that's been woven by hand. It has felt pads underneath it to protect the surface below against scratches. I've often used this one on the floor of a pantry and it looks beautiful. And then there's this beautiful one here, the Lustigear Basket at $26.99. It's made of natural water hyacinth and seagrass. And as you can see, it's been hand woven with an airy pattern. It's decorative wherever you use it, but keep in mind, you don't wanna fill it with lots of busy, colorful items because you can see through it. So as pretty as it is, it doesn't do a great job of concealing the items that you're storing. They also have the Nabis basket, and at $14.99, it's priced extremely well, especially if you're needing to buy several to fill a Calyx unit. I use this basket most recently in my client's playroom to organize all the toys and crafts their kids had. Made of seagrass, it works great to store games and media accessories as well. They're just awesome. And then there's a Nipsa basket at $24.99. This is one that's been reduced in price. It's woven around a steel frame, which makes it sturdy, and the seagrass color warms up any space. And I love the Bullig at $27.99. The wood on this basket has been pressed and treated to give it its color. The base of the basket has pads to protect the surface below against scratches. I think this one would look amazing paired with the Jolcana basket in a pantry. Although, I don't know if I'd have them side by side as the Jolcana seems to have a slight green undertone. It could be how it's weathered over time though, I'm not certain, but spaced out well enough, like maybe having a shelf in between them, I think they could be fabulous together. In keeping with the Calyx size baskets, there's the Jenna storage box, priced really well at $11.99. Keep in mind, this is made of a cardboard-like material, so it's not gonna be super sturdy and you won't be able to wipe it down. It's ideal for storing magazines, notebooks, concealing media gadgets, or even sweaters up in your closet. And while the material is cheap, it's an inexpensive way to keep your spaces looking tidy. It also comes in three other sizes. I especially like the longer one as I think it could be used to store files in an office. And my favorite find of the day isn't really a cube basket, even though it fits the Calyx shells. It's the Jillivips Jute Basket, priced at $19.99. While you normally hear me complain about this basket not having any structure, I love its color and its jute material. I think the workaround for its lack of structure is to stuff it with an inexpensive bin from the dollar store. In fact, I've implemented this trick already in all of my lab cell baskets. I've got them all stuffed with the Home Edit Square All-Purpose Bin. In doing so, it allows me to protect the bottom of the basket so I don't have to worry about ruining them should something leak. Lining them with a bin also protects the floor underneath. So if I store containers with liquids in them or if I have them in a pantry filled with potatoes and onions, I don't have to worry about making a mess. And I found one more that's not only designed for the Calyx shelves, but it's also designed to function on its own. In fact, I envision it in a playroom. It's Ikea's new Kuga storage box with lid. 
This is cubic storage at its finest. It's ideal for toys. It has a solid wipeable interior and it's also stackable. Ikea says that it also fits in their V-Hauls, Vesta and Trotten units, but I think it's perfect for organizing toys. Moving away from cube storage, I wanna highlight Ikea's other Kugis products. First, the Kugis storage box with lid. These come in three sizes. You can find them in white, turquoise, or transparent black. It took me a while to acclimate to the transparency on the black one, but my associate Cheryl reminded me that it gives you the outline of what's inside. I have them in white and they're labeled with labels I created a few years ago using my Cricut. I use them under my bathroom sink and they work beautifully to conceal all my cosmetics. Because it's a tight space and these are stackable, I prefer them over clear acrylic bins since they minimize visual clutter. And in keeping with the Kugis products, there's also these Kugis magazine file holders. These are $19.99 for a two pack and they work great to store paperwork on your office shelves instead of having those unsightly piles all over your desk. I like that they're sturdy plastic and not made of cardboard. I know I'm kind of taking you all over, but since we're still talking about storage, I want to highlight the Trofast units. These work great in playrooms or kids' rooms, and they're perfect for storing building blocks, soft toys, books. The frames and bins come in a variety of colors, sizes, and configurations. New this year is the Trofast bin with lid, which allows you to stack the bins on their own on the floor. And the last bin I wanna highlight is the Samla storage bin. These are not new to Ikea, but they've improved them over the years. I used to find that the lids didn't close tightly, but they've corrected this. Next to the Costco bins, they're the most affordable bins on the market. I prefer the 22 and a half by 15 and a quarter by 11 inch bin that retails for $13.99 alongside its lid. I think it's manageable to carry and the size isn't so large that your items get lost inside. I will always prefer a clear bin in a storage room because it allows you to get a visual of what's inside your bin. And if you keep all the bins the same size, it eases the chaos and it keeps the storage room looking tidy. Let's move over to closet organizing. And the first thing that caught my eye was this Skostal shoe display. Priced at $3.99 each, these are great for those who have a shoe collection to display in their closet. What I love is they fit men's shoes perfectly. They'd also look great with sneakers on them, although high tops wouldn't fit in these. Also, while I think heels would work, the gridded pattern doesn't make it ideal for skinny stilettos. So I think these are best utilized for flats. Ikea had stacks and stacks of boomerang wood hangers throughout the store. They've recently reduced these in price from $8.99 for an 8-pack to $6.99 for an 8-pack, which works out to about $0.87 cents a hanger. Compared to a slim velvet hanger on Amazon, they're still a bit more expensive per hanger, but not by as wide of a margin. If you intend to switch out your closet to wooden hangers, you need to purchase enough to cover your entire wardrobe. The minute you have mismatched hangers intertwined in there, your closet will lose its visual appeal. But don't fret, Ikea seems to have an abundance of them right now. They work great if you have a lot of suit jackets in your closet, but keep in mind that they take a lot more space, so you'll be able to fit less clothes than say a velvet hanger. And last in closet organizing, Ikea has an abundance of Sprudig black slimline hangers. These are really affordable at $2.79 for a 10 pack. I don't love these in a closet, but I'll admit they look and function a lot better than the old white plastic hangers. And look, I know not everyone loves velvet hangers, but you can also buy a rubberized slimline hanger that doesn't have velvet, which in my opinion is quite a bit nicer than the spruiting ones. But in sharing this, my son once had these in his closet and he switched them all out to the spruiting ones because he kept breaking them when he'd pull his clothes off the hangers. So to summarize, they aren't my favorite, but price-wise they're more affordable. And if you have a habit of tugging on your clothes to peel them off the hanger, then they're a great buy for you over the velvet hangers. I'm also quickly stopping by the plastic and glass soap dispensers. These are a great way to turn down the visual clutter in your bathrooms that are prone to be filled with a mishmash of products with busy labels. And this video wouldn't be complete without highlighting Ikea's abundance of kitchen organization products. I was most excited to find Ikea's new Clip Cactus 11-inch storage turntable priced at 
$9.99, a significant discount compared to the Home Edit's divided turntable priced at $34.99. Now, before you come at me, I know this one doesn't have their removable dividers like the Home Edit one, but to be honest, we rarely use the dividers. It's more about the function of the turntable. IKEA advertises these for fridge organizing. However, I think they'd work great for oils and vinegars in a cabinet by your stove or lined up in a row in your pantry across a shelf to hold your different condiments. I even love them under a bathroom sink for hair products or under a kitchen sink for your cleaning products. I'll most certainly be coming back for these. Continuing with circular objects, I found these beautiful trays. I even brought one of them home with me. This one here is the Ombonad Walnut Tray. At 17 inches in diameter, it can be an eye catcher in any home. I use these for intentional styling. Rather than putting the things you use every day back in their spot, trays can hold those frequently used items and be styled to look pretty with a plant or a candle or a stack of books. This one here is a bit on the expensive side at $49.99, but I think it's a worthwhile investment if it works with your decor. And I was in love with the Smata Lazy Susan. It was sold out by the time I went back to Ikea to get a better shot of it. This one here spins, so it's not just a tray, it's a turntable. And it's priced at $39.99, which is reasonable given its construction. And I had to stop and get a closer look at the Saxborga jar set. These glass jars are great for salts, spices, seeds, or nuts. I use something like this when I'm adding finishing touches on a kitchen. And as I dive deeper into the kitchen area of Ikea, I stop to take a closer look at the bamboo Optoterra flatware and utensil trays. These are dimensioned for Ikea cabinets as they have the angled sides, just like the interior of their drawers. They start at $16.99, which is pretty reasonable considering that the Royal Craft ones are in the $40 to $80 range. They come in two other sizes as well, which is basically just extension pieces that you add to the sides. Now, you most likely don't have Ikea cabinets, so these may not necessarily fit well in your drawers. Be sure to measure before buying. Speaking of utensils, I intentionally stopped in front of these to bring you a gentle reminder to toss your melted, bent, or stained spatulas. At Ikea or even Dollarama, they are super affordable to replace. You don't have to buy them as a set. You can buy them individually. Melted plastic should not go near your food. And speaking of plastic, you know all those mismatched plastic storage containers you have? You know the ones that are missing a lid or maybe you have the lid but you're missing the containers? It's time to get rid of these. They're taking important real estate in your kitchen. IKEA's 365 line has a wide variety of glass storage containers to choose from. You can choose the kind of lid you prefer, whether it's a snap-on lid or a bamboo lid. You can choose the sizes you need rather than being stuck with a set of various shapes that you never use, so I think these are great. They also carry the Hefstobus glass container set, priced well at $14.99. This set though comes in an assortment of sizes and different colored lids. I was shopping for glass sets on Amazon and while they're slightly larger than the set, they were $40 to $60. I always save the best for last. You can't come to Ikea without noticing their wall of glass canisters. As part of their 365 line, Ikea carries two sizes of canisters. They have the 1.7 liter, which gives you a more modern feel, and the 3.3 liter canister to fit all your large bags of grains, sugars, and flours. The wide mouth of the canisters makes baking easier as you can easily dip a cup into it. While you have to purchase the lids separately, these are a deal priced at $5.99 and $9.99 respectively. Their lids are sold separately at $3 a piece. You can choose either bamboo lids, clear glass lids, or snap-on lids. Although I don't recommend the latter if you're trying to create a pretty pantry. The one thing though is that they always seem to be out of one of the lid styles. They'll have glass lids for six months and then they go out of stock. And then they'll have the bamboo ones for the next six months and then they go out of stock. The seals on these lids are great for most things except maybe brown sugar. I still prefer the Anchor Hawking line for that. However, there's a large savings if you go with these as Anchor Hawking canisters are $22 to $40 each. 
I also came across these Vardagan glass jars with lid. They remind me of the traditional glass anchor hawking canisters, except they're a bit smaller in size. Again, a significant price difference here. Their 1.9 liter or 64 ounce jar in this line is regularly priced at $7.99 and they've had it on sale this month for $5.99. These would look really cute in a pantry, but I will caution you, the seals aren't great. The lids close, but just not super tight. But you can also use these in a laundry room to display your powdered soaps or pods, or you can use them in your pantry to display things like wrapped candy or cookies or those goods that you rotate through really quickly. The Vardagan line also comes with a tall 1.8 liter canister that's great for displaying tall pasta. Its regular price is $9.99 and they also have it on sale for $5.99. What I love about Ikea for canisters is that they have an abundance of them. You don't have to worry about not having enough to get across your pantry shelf. And I debated including these into my video. And in the end, I decided to because everyone has a different budget. And I want to bring you options to create the prettiest possible space so that you can enjoy the home you're in. So I'm featuring these plastic canisters with white lids that are part of Ikea's 365 line. They aren't super great quality, but dang, they're so cheap. The 44 ounce one is $7.99. Compare that to the Home Edit's $19.99 canister. The two quart one, which is taller and great for tall pasta or cereal, is priced at $9.99. Now, when we're buying upwards of 18 per project, these offer a substantial savings. They have a European Scandinavian aesthetic, and if that style works with your kitchen and you buy enough to fit the width of a shelf in your pantry, you'll be happy with them. And like I promised, here are a few curations that I'd put together for a pantry if I could only pick items from Ikea. You'll want to screenshot these. As you can see, compared to other products I'd be inclined to use, these offer a substantial savings. Remember the TV commercial where the lady yelled, start the car, start the car. Am I the only one who wants to yell this when I finish my shop at Ikea? If you found this shop with me video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you think I missed a few products, be sure to share them in the comments section below. Now I'm traveling over the next month visiting family. So instead of bringing you shopping videos, I hope to compile a few DIY organization videos that will allow you to understand my rationale from organizing various spaces. You'll want to be sure to subscribe so you don't miss these. Thanks for watching.